Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today we are going to be going through every single Arc Aberration Dino slash creature that has been revealed to us that is going to be coming out with the new DLC. There are so many so far guys, some we don't actually know about, some we know the names of, some we know a bit more than others, but it's very interesting and I'm really excited to bring you guys this video. The reason why I thought I'd make this is because Aberration is only 10 days away from making this video, so I thought I'd let you know what to expect and what is coming within the, in the game. So if you do enjoy, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Thank you for all the support on the videos recently, guys. It means a lot to me. I'm trying to hit 70,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which would be amazing. So all the support really does mean a lot to me. And if you never want to miss an upload, make sure to, uh, sure to turn on notifications, which is the little bell next to the subscribe button. But apart from that, let's get in with the video. So I'm starting off actually with the brand new Community Crunch uh, 110, uh, which was re uh, released, which didn't have that much information on, but it did have a new Mysterious Mysteries, which is one of the first dinos or creatures that have been revealed to come into the game. Now, currently, we don't actually know the name of this because this was most the most recent one. But if any of you guys do know some of these, maybe you can do like what number one is this, number two is this. Um, obviously, we do have some of the names, but if you if you um, but some of them we don't. So if you want to give me some news that I may have missed out in the comments, that would be awesome. So this was the first one that was actually the more well, the most recent one that was being brought out into the game, uh, saying that it's going to be coming out. Looks pretty dangerous. Not going to lie. Um, I doubt it's going to be a friendly thing. I, I mean, I don't think much stuff. In aberration is going to be very friendly uh, so it's going to be interesting and uh, this is number one now here I actually do have the aberration page which has a bunch of the names of the unique creatures that's going to be coming out into the game which we'll come back towards at the end of the uh, at the end of the video but number two we have the feather light so the feather light is one of the upcoming creatures in arc survival evolves aberration expansion uh, we don't know anything else about it because obviously there's no dossiers and stuff the only thing you know is it drops raw meat and uh, they've barely given us anything apart from that it is tameable not even a picture of it at the moment so um, if you want to go look for a picture of it then you can do should have got it in the video but then I thought there'd be way too many tabs and uh, I'm really sorry about that most of them have pictures uh, but we'll be moving straight on with the next one now so we have the Kark Enos, I think that I think that's what it is, and that is what it looks like there. Um, that looks pretty crazy. It looks like something from like Stranger Things, if you guys have seen that series. Uh, like, it's, I think it might be the big crab thing. Uh, as you guys can see, it's tameable and it's rideable, and uh, it's going to be one of the upcoming creatures as well coming out with the game. I mean, in, I think it could be the crab-like thing, which is in the trailer. So if you're wondering what that is, then you can go watch the trailer. Uh, it's pretty awesome, and uh, I think that this one is going to be a pretty nice one to have in the game if you see the way that it does work. And if you want to see any Aberration gameplay, you can actually check out some of my videos. I've got like the full Aberration gameplay, which is like nearly two hours long. A couple of videos ago, I did upload that. So the next one is the Lamprey, which from what I remember with this dino, it's a pretty crazy, dangerous, scary one. Now it's got that, it's, I think it's the one with like loads of teeth. Um, it is tameable and it's an aquatic creature on aberration, which is going to be in the water. For me, this is the one thing that is going to scare me so much with the new DLC. I hope it's not like a jump scare, but I'm having a feeling it might be. Uh, so that is what it's going to be. It's a carnivore and um, it is tameable, as I said, but not rideable. So the next one is the light bug or the firefly as you guys did see this is in the trailer It's not even tameable. It's not rideable. It just flies around and uh, you, you can just literally get some like, you know um, uh, Actual like um, what it drops things basically that you'll need maybe like chitin or something like that uh, The similar to the other bugs by using the um, and also maybe it might do cementing paste by using the frog in aberration as well so we've also got the Naked Mole Rat, which was something which was added in, uh, with, I think this was recent from what I remember within the uh, actual community crunches. This one doesn't say if it's tameable, uh, which usually when there's nothing there, it's when they haven't decided. Um, it's not rideable, that's definite, and it's not breedable, so that's what's going on there. Uh, and this is going to be the, one of the upcoming creatures in Aberration as well. So moving on to the next one, we have the Nameless. Now, there is the Nameless Queen as well, which we'll be getting to in a bit. But this is like the Nameless Minions, which haven't been decided whether they're going to be tameable yet, which I think they're going to be, um, but not rideable. So I think they, if you do end up taming them, I don't know if this is true, where you can have a little Nameless Army. If this doesn't happen, then I'll be a bit sad, but I've been hearing things about that actually being possible. 
So this is actually it. Um, the Reaper Cre uh, Queen. So the uh, the Weeper the Re I can't even speak. I said the Weeper. The Reaper Queen is one of the upcoming creatures in Ark Survival Evolved. Um, you know it's not available at the moment. And um, I do actually have a picture of this. It's not on here right now. But if you guys want to see it, uh, it well want to be able to see it, you can. It doesn't say whether it's tameable at the moment, but I think it's going to be. Um, and it's not rideable, which is quite upsetting because I thought the Reaper Queen could possibly be rideable within the game. Really awesome. I would love to see the Reaper Queen in the game and you know once it does get released in 10 days you'll be seeing all that gameplay on my channel so this is the mysterious mysteries uh creep the first creature there um this says it's not rideable not breedable nothing about tame uh taming we don't even have the names of this one someone might have even talked about before um but I've, I've you know i've moved on to it late but some we don't actually know the names of at the moment some might even be in the trailer i don't know um but this is aberration mysterious mysteries creature one uh, i i think we i think i've done a few videos on some of these saying what they could be uh but if you do have the like an understanding of what this this new aberration creature could be then make sure to let me know as i did say in the comments down below really excited for this one looks to me like some sort of saber tooth crazy mutated creature um they do say within aberration it um a lot of the dinos are um, on aberration well the creatures are like mutated versions of the old ones so this could potentially be like a saber tooth mutated or something like that so, this one here is Aberration's Mysterious Mysteries creature number two. Looks pretty small. Um, doesn't say whether it's tameable, but a lot of these will probably will be tameable. Uh, they just haven't decided yet. Um, it's rideable. It's not rideable and not breedable. Um, I do think this one looks pretty cute. I reckon it's going to be one you have on your shoulder. Will be friendly, most likely. Doesn't look like it's going to be anything that is actually going to do much damage to you. So, definitely excited for this to be added into Aberration. I've seen a few videos on this. Um, so, this guy is going to going to be amazing so make sure to let me know if you do the, know the name of this uh, new creature coming to aberration the next one is something i couldn't really say um i it's the aberration mysterious mysteries um i've seen a few videos on it as well uh really excited for this one it's got some crazy weird octopus looking head and some massive body uh right now it doesn't say that it's rideable but i'm having a feeling that sometimes they're just saying no for most of these uh because you never know like that is pretty big so that could be rideable so don't take the word on this until aberration's actually been released it will probably be tameable because it's big enough and um you know don't just don't, sometimes don't take the word on this because this this can change on rideable and tameable when things are going to be released because sometimes wildcard end up changing their mind later on. Now, this was um, Aberration's Mysterious Mystery or Dossier number four, which is the, uh, which as you guys can see, is uh, the creature shares many traits with the Nameless Queen, uh, which is pretty awesome. So I think this is actually, if I'm not wrong, uh, if I can find it, the Reaper Queen. So I think there's two different ones, the Nameless Queen and the Reaper Queen. So that is what I'm trying to get to the bottom of, because so you don't get confused. Because they're saying it shares many traits. So by the sounds of it, there's actually the Nameless Queen, which is uh, the like the leader of the Nameless. And then you've got the Reaper Queen, which is another separate creature within the game. So two massive things that are going to be very dangerous. Now these probably say rideable, no, tameable, no. But this is probably going to be different. I could see this one being definitely rideable and definitely tameable. So um, if you know. As I said, if you want to do it, you know, you want to see a bit more information on this, you can look into some gameplay which I've uploaded on my channel. Also, um, apparently it, it has a hint like uh, more to an unusual role, uh, role like the Dodo Rex, which is in, uh, which is very exciting. I'd like to see more stuff like the Dodo Rex in the game and uh, excited for the Reaper Queen. So as you guys can see here, this was dossier number five, Mysterious Mysteries. Um, again, I'm not going to be taking in consideration of this anymore because it looks like they're saying no and nothing for Tameable for everything. But they will update that once Aberration has been revealed. And I will be doing spawning in every single creature of Aberration 2, which will be a video uh, I'll be doing later on. Just so you know also whether they're Tameable and Rideable. Um, I mean, you can force tame things, but I mean Rideable. And um, it does look like a pretty awesome dino coming to the game. Um, it looks friendly, so you'll be able to, uh, you, you know, I think it may be, be I think, uh, the mutated version of the reindeer within the game, and that is probably my guess of what that is going to be. Now, the second from last one is the Rock Drake. Um, you guys already know about the Rock Drake. We know a lot about this. It's, it's actually been said to be tameable and rideable, which we've seen in the trailer, which is pretty damn awesome. The Rock Drake is going to be a load of fun within the game. You can fly with it, glide with it, uh, climb up walls going to do it's going to be very powerful but it's probably going to be quite hard to tame so a lot 
of, you know, um, it's going to be a, a pretty hard time. I'm not going to lie, I'm taming a few things in Aberration. It's meant to be a tough DLC and not an easy one to go through. Now, the final one is the Bulb, uh, uh, the Bulb, let's say Pug for a second, uh, because it's an original name, is actually the Lantern Pug, but it's the Bulb Dog, and I think this is like the, um, the mutated version of the frog within the game. It is tameable, but not rideable, which is actually interesting. I would like to see that changed, because, I mean, the frog in Ark normally is rideable, so I'm surprised they've said no right there. I'm hoping it's going to be changed to actually be rideable into the future. I don't know, but I would actually love to see this happen. Very excited to see this, because we need help with getting our chit um our um cementing paste um that's if that's even in uh cementing paste is even going to be in aberration i'm sure it will be but if it's not then that's definitely uh, maybe there's something new that we get um but we don't know much about aberration we know as much you know we know as much as we've been given but not as much because we haven't got the dlc but very interesting they are all the current um, aberration creatures that we know about right now to be released into the game. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section down below. I'm so excited about this DLC. I want to try and bring you guys as many videos as I can. But I am trying to, the reason why you might not be seeing as many uploads at the moment is because I just want to do Aberration. If I'm not going to lie to you guys, I want to bring, as soon as Aberration is revealed, I'm going to be bringing out a series, like so many how to spawn in videos, just everything like that. And uh, and it's just making me so excited, but at the same time, it's struggling. I'm struggling for video ideas as well uh, to be coming up for the actual time of Aberration because I'm just so excited for that. But I'm going to be ending the video here, guys. So if you do enjoy, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Make sure to let me know if you're excited for Aberration. If you never want to miss, miss a video, make sure to turn on notifications, which is the little bell next to the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links will always be in the description down below for further ARC news. But apart from that, see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.